Okay, update on my patient, Hannah, who has had an ACL reconstruction, and she's now at 35 weeks. So that's nearly nine months post-op for an ACL, and she's doing extremely well. Now, she's the girl who has to train for what we call dog sports. So she needs to do a lot of change direction, a lot of jumping, getting pulled left and right. So we are working on her stability and her strength, and she's done extremely well. But she's got a few things which we're going to go through. I'm going to show a couple of videos on what we're working on. Now, with this next video, she reports that her left leg, which is the one with the black stocking, compression stocking on, she feels a bit sluggish with that leg compared to her right leg, which is her normal non operate ACL leg. So she feels like she's jumping higher with the leg, she's jumping further. The left one, she just feels that. It is a bit sluggish and the hamstring is not firing enough or she's not lifting the back of her leg high enough during those jumps. So to work out whether that was a strength issue or what we call a neuromuscular issue, so it's more of a confidence thing, what I gave her is some hurdles and the low hurdle was about the right height that she was clearing with her right leg and getting her doing with her left leg gave her a bit of confidence to jump over a hurdle during that triple hop for distance test, and then we decided to put the hurdle up. So once we've got something like a hurdle in place, that takes out the sort of the brain component, meaning she has forced to jump over and focus on jumping over the hurdle, not worrying about what her knee can do. So once we've done that, you can see when we slow this down that she actually has the same height left and right, and then she ends up feeling the same as well. So we know there is a sort of a confidence neuromuscular component. And so she's now working on when she does her single leg hops, like a triple hop, and then obviously a triple hop crows over, but the triple hop, which is part of the return to sport testing, she's gonna now train that with hurdles to make sure she can actually force herself to get the height, which in turn makes her leg do a lot more work, which then gets the strengthening. So there is a strengthening component in there, but it's just to get to that strengthening component, a lot of this so that's why we focus on those sort of drills the triple crossover hop now that's a return to sport test and we're using that as a drill she's doing okay with it she can go you know medial lateral medial okay she's not getting very wide on the hop but that's okay because the test she only needs to get over sort of a double line but for her sport and if you know if you're a sports person you're trying to return to sport and you need a lot of sideways agility drills you need to be able to step aggressively sideways for her sport She's gonna be pulled sideways and pushed. She needs to be able to run forward and step and come back. So we're also aiming for width with her. We're trying to get her, can you jump as far forward and as wide as you possibly can and do that three times as your crossover hop test. So it's a little bit different to the ones that are standard, but very important that we try and make sure that those tests are very specific and relative to what she needs to do in sport. And that's a little take home thing for you guys. Make sure when you're doing your ACL testing and you're using them as drills, are they specific to what you wanna do, okay? Make sure you're not just doing a drill and ticking the box going, oh, I can do that. Yeah, but is that related to your sport? You know, do you need to do more for your sport? And should you be doing that drill but in a different way to help you with what you need to do? down the track for injury prevention and performance in your sport. Now the last one we also tested today was doing a lateral hop and how many she could do. Very interesting, she could do 24 in 24 seconds on her good leg and 22 on her other leg. So pretty good and I'm very happy with that she's managed that range. Remember those lines, that yellow line is 40 centimeters apart and she didn't touch it once, so she's doing extremely well on that. So all in all, at nine months, or nearly nine months, she's doing very well. And the next phase is trying to get her back into that dog sport and making sure she can complete all that, as well as doing all her strengthening work ongoing. Because hey, she's only in not even a year, she's got to keep going. And we'll update you on her journey next time. See you then.